one thing I noticed Flea does in the songs I am familiar with, he has an incredible awareness of what Chad Smith is doing. When Chad hits a specific drum, Flea is articulating his bass note the exact same way. He's thinking past, oh, I'm just locking in with the snare and the kick drum. He's actually changing his articulation to match the drummers, and that's like mastery level awareness of a rhythm section that's very important. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Lone University. Thanks for your patience, but I'm finally getting around to some flea and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's been too long, and it's time to do it. The problem is, I just don't know where to start. There's so much great bass playing across their discography, but I wanted to pick a song I don't think I've heard. Aeroplane, I got a request for it. We're going to be checking out a live performance today, but this track is from their 1995 album, One Hot Minute, and there's so much of their discography I know really well, and some I just don't. But I'm going to check out a live performance because watching Flea play live is simply infectious. So let's jump in. Chili Peppers, Aeroplane, live. 2017, okay. Not that long ago. So I guess we'll have Josh on guitar. If I'm getting my dates right. The description did say this was a board mix, so hopefully I can hear the bass pretty well. I kind of picked it based on that. Sounds familiar. So it's kind of hovering between G minor seven, sounds like. It's kind of a jazzy blues progression here so far. Just one to four in a minor key. There's the slap. Hope they show Flea. Yeah, it's just the same. Here we go. It, you can really hear the bass well. Uh, I'm glad I picked a good video because I stray away from live videos sometimes with bass because it's like the last thing to sound good on any sort of live video. This sounds great. Soundboard audio. I'm glad I can hear what's going on. So yeah, so far, funky blues jam, right? What I noticed that Flea is really walking the bass line a lot, which takes it away from this like uh, dive bar blues jam. So he's kind of walking it and not staying on any chord tone too long and it's kind of pulling your ear and kind of gluing together all that kind of strummy staccato guitar stuff sounds like he's going down and then which gives it that more rock edge it's got that driving bass line and I love just, again, the way it's walking is not making it sound like a blues jam it's kind of giving it their chili pepper stamp and of course, he's slapping. I'm going to go back and catch the slap part and see kind of how it transitioned into that. I think it shows him here in a sec. So one thing I noticed Flea does in the songs I am familiar with, he has an incredible awareness of what Chad Smith is doing. Not only the drum parts, not the kick drum, but it's like when Chad hits a specific drum, Flea is articulating his bass note the exact same way. He's thinking past, oh, I'm just locking in with the snare and the kick drum. 
he's actually changing his articulation to match the drummers. And that's like mastery level awareness of a rhythm section. That's very important. You know, this section here, when he slaps, Chad's tightening up that hi-hat groove. You know, same transients, but less decays. And he's not doing an open hat, really. He's not on the ride cymbal. You'll kind of notice he tightens that bass groove up. So if you're on a ride cymbal and it's got this long decay, it's, it's, that's when Flea's kind of elongating that walking bass part. But then when Chad goes to that closed hi-hat, Flea mimics the articulation and goes to the slap part. It's like he's mirroring the length of the drum notes with the bass parts. That's incredible sensibility of just great rhythm section balance. And he's slapping sort of that same progression. He's dancing around the changes, though, which, again, takes it away from this two-chord jam. This is really just two chords going back and forth, but he's keeping it very colorful and interesting by walking it and kind of doing the same thing with slapping. G, C. But he's adding these sort of like fake out chord changes, but it's really just dancing around the chord, kind of ad-libbing. So if we're going from C to G, he could just go. But he's walking it the same way he did earlier. And it just adds some color. And again, if you have a chord progression, three chords, four chords, two chords, dance around it. But you can kind of take those scale tones around the note you're trying to get to and add little fills. He's really ad-libbing a lot of this stuff. So let's keep going and see what he does. Perfect example. Listen to the change from slap. Sorry to stop it so soon, but I wanted you to hear this. The tight hi-hat closed slap part, when it goes back into that chorus, you'll hear that Chad opens up the hi-hat and Flea returns those long notes. Tight. Slight opening up. It just matches. So he's hitting that ride cymbal, keeping the bass notes long. I just love that little tiny stuff that makes such a difference with how a song comes across. Ride cymbal. Tighten back up. So good. Pocket. You know, we kind of went up that C minor scale there. Tasty. Man, Flea is just like him and Chad. They might be the most intense rhythm section in rock. Uh, this type of weighty intensity, pocket, it sounds like the drum part and the bass part every note is like perfectly exact like nobody's really deviating from each other it's just this dual force of impact i don't know how else to i can't find the words but that's just my favorite thing about this band it's like they're telepathic it's just every note We took it up an octave. Ooh, just love that tasty stuff.
nice little break. Just some nice moving bass little stuff there. Love it. And it, he's playing it really dynamic. Normally when Flea plays finger style, it's very heavy handed, which gives him that just weightiness that's punchy. It sounds so intense, but he's really, you know, exercising a lot of dynamic restraint here and it's very tasteful. I love that note. So good. That was fun. I got to see that again. He adds a lot of space into it. You know, Flea has every uh, every ability to just rip a shred solo, rip it even harder. But I love that he adds the restraint and doesn't stray too far away from the vibe of the song. He was already doing those little fills. He was already doing that stuff. He was already slapping. He's just taking it up just a notch. Just a notch. And I just love how heavy-handed he is. It's like his slap sounds, his slapped intensity just kind of matches his finger style and vice versa. It's just this big unit of just really, what's the word I'm looking for? I keep saying weighty. I don't know how to describe his playing. What's one word to describe Flea's playing? Just brash. Just, uh, it's just like that all over. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Love that slap. Listen oh. how heavy handed those notes are. He's just he's just plucking the hell out of the strings. These are the moves I wanted to see. This is why I wanted to do a live video. Oh. Okay, and while we're here, someone please catch me up in terms of what basses he plays now. The last I knew, he played modulus basses, and he, correct me if I'm wrong, I think he played lane poor pickups for a while. Does anybody know anything about that? Because I bought a used bass a long time ago that had lane poor pickups in it. I'd never heard about him in my life, and the seller described it to me as the brand that Flea plays. And I, it must be a small boutique company, which so is Modulus, but I just, I don't know anything about the gear he really plays other than Gailey and Kruger amps, which are here on stage. So I would love to know what bass is being used here. If it was just a modified P bass, cause it's just got the humbucker music man style looking pickup. But uh, I'm sure some of you know, my favorite thing about these videos is learning all these gear factoids about the players I'm focusing on. Cause you guys really know your stuff. I just want to let you know I really appreciate it when you guys tell me. I mean, it looks like a Fender style bass, but I just don't know. Walking that thing. I want to hear that walking bass line again. It is just a lesson in how much of a, a jazz influence can really work in a rock song. I mean, they're just writing that fine line of rock, blues, jazz, funk. It's all just 
like a fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. This is a, such a great song, but he's walking that thing at the end with a really jazz articulation. <laughs> I mean, just he's walking it kind of in that style, and it just love. I just love the way it drives the song out to the outro. I hear it one more time. Let's see what we got. I just love the way he's just kind of doing those the swung kind of muted note thing there. Ba-da, 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 ba-da. Love it. This was a great performance. Well, guys, we finally did it. We got to some flea. I know I'm going to do more. It's time for your suggestions on what other Chili Pepper songs I should focus on. The thing is, like I said, every Chili Pepper song has some amazing flea stuff. I'm familiar with a lot of their discography. By the way, Stadium Arcadium, there's some albums I just really have not listened to. I've not really focused on One Hot Minute. And I do recognize this chorus, but I've never listened to the bass part. I've only heard this in passing. So this was really great. Um, I've heard of Recommendation for Dark Necessities. That was my close second to do for this, this video. So I might do it again in the future, but pile them up. Pile up the chili pepper suggestions. I'm going to really tally these and see what I can do next. But Flea is just such an amazing force. I think him and Chad Smith are the most intense rhythm section in rock. Just in terms of the way they gel together, they are on their own wavelength. They are... The chemistry is almost like telepathy. Anytime I watch a live video of Chili Peppers, they are so in sync and are matching each other's vibe. They're constantly one-upping one each other during the live show, and this is a truly a bucket list band for me to see live. I love Flea. I love his intensity, his the ability for him to change styles and articulation so well in any given song, and I'm really glad I got to see this video. So thank you guys for recommending Chili Peppers. It's time to do more at some point, right? Give this video a thumbs up, comment, like I said, and please make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. I really hope you guys are enjoying this content, and I can't wait to make more. Have a great week. Cheers. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.